Right now, a man from Oak Ridge is on trial for his life, accused of kidnapping, raping, and torturing, then murdering a young woman named Jennifer Paxton. She's on your screen now, and prosecutors say that suspect killed that young woman, then kept her body in a freezer for eight months. 10 News reporter Ellis Roll joins us live from the Anderson County Courthouse, where the state just showed the jury evidence from the crime scene. Ellis? John Robin, just a bit ago, the state actually brought that freezer into the courtroom and showed it to the jury. They opened the door up of that freezer, brought it right in front of them, and some jurors even stood up out of their seats to peer into that freezer. The state also introduced several other pieces of evidence from Finnegan's home. Chains and padlocks were found in the bedroom. The state also showed a choke chain and a nylon leash that were found, as well as a bucket that they say Finnegan made the fi victim go to the bathroom in. The blast black plastic bag that the victim was found in was also shown. Earlier today, officers testified about finding Paxton's body. Uh, it was black plastic bag and it was cold to the touch and which was you know kind of odd why would somebody put something up under the bed that's real cold uh, when you got a freezer and touched it and I yelled out to the rest of the team I said I think I found her Several jurors were visibly disturbed looking at the evidence, one putting his hand over his mouth and looking away. So around 4.30 after jurors saw the freezer, they were asked if they wanted to be done for the day. Court ended here around 5 yesterday. They said no, they, they were ready to keep going. So court is still in session. We're gonna see some more of that evidence at six o'clock. And right now a TBI agent is testifying. He was someone that processed some of the evidence and we'll have more for you about that at six o'clock. John Robin. All right, Ellis rolled live in Anderson County. This trial expected to last a couple of weeks.